No cam. I really don't have a way to set y'all up right. That sucks. I'll talk about my garage, but you can see me in the fish. Big slime. Watching. What up, what up, y'all? Out here just doing a little bit of cleanup. What's up, what's up? Let's go, making y'all hungry. I just ate a crappie sandwich the other night, y'all. Just ate a crappie sandwich the other night. What? There go my shawty. Fish and cammy. <laughs> Save those eggs. You crazy than a big mug. Huh? Yeah, go ahead, baby. They fly. So. If it don't look like that, it ain't right, y'all. Sixty-one people. Hey man, let me let me get some thumbs ups if y'all don't mind, man. Just let YouTube know y'all love me still. We got a lot of fish cleaning to do. I just got off of work, looking crazy. Doug, what's up, brother? Hope y'all are doing all right out here. Man, it is so pretty out here today. I couldn't go fishing after work, but it's all to the good. Ooh, I wasn't ready for all these flies, though, y'all. Then I forgot my fish cleaning table at my parents' house. So I'm out here on a <laughs> on a make makeshift setup. Got some he haw listen, I got some he haws, y'all. Huh? You said that me and I could use this one time, right? What? Yes. Yeah. Go ahead and use it, baby. How many of y'all, man, Detail Northwest, man, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. We really appreciate it. Listen to me, man. It's going to go towards crappie fishing and keeping these videos going. So thank you. Anybody that donates today, just know that that's what's going on, man. We, we're we going to put that thing right back into the channel, keep this thing going. So thank you. Man, y'all, been keeping a few. I actually kept a whole bunch. Well, I got another one for my detail. Thank you, man. Listen, appreciate you. I appreciate you, man. Y'all, we got into a bunch of females, man. Females. I went ahead and kept some of them, so we'll do we'll do rib cages here in a minute. Let's see. Joke stank a little bit. That's them guts stinking. They've been in, on ice for a day. Yeah. 
using the bubble blade today, the corded bubble blade today. Does anybody out there not know how to um, fillet crappie? Do we got anybody watching? Maurice, what's up, man? Anybody out here don't know how to fillet crappie? They're on ice water right now, so they're going to be real slimy, y'all. I, I like to clean, boy, I'm talking about just some old big head females. Never had one. Well, listen, let me just go ahead and make it real plain. So, a lot of people lift this fin up. You can lift it up. At the end of the day, it's not no good. You can cut straight through it. But my first cut, I want to make, hope you can see that pretty good. First cut I make right here. And if you get real fancy, you make a C, what I used to call a C cut. Top of the head to the bottom of the chin. Make my first cut. Boom. It'll look like that. Is that plain to see? That's my first cut. Second cut, I go inside of what I just made and I turn my blade. I hit the spine and I follow the spine all the way to the tail without going through the end of the skin. Let me show you number two. Okay, then you'll be able to open her up and you're gonna get guts and get kind of, kind of gory. The good thing is it's not bloody, not a lot of blood um, because these fish have been sitting on ice. But that's cut number two. Right, and the side we're gonna be working with is this side right here. This is where our fillet is, but we just took, here's his backbone that I followed. We're about to come now and take skin away from meat. And what you do is you just make a little cut, and I'm gonna start my knife, make a cut, and it'll, you can see, because he has scales on the bottom side here, you're gonna be able to tell the meat from the skin. So let's do that. Cut in, and again, turn my knife. stopped early so that I can show you this. See that? That's skin and that's meat. That's the two. Let me finish it off. Okay. We're going to get into the rib cage just like I said in a minute. Right now we're just trying to stack a few up. Then there's a way that you don't have to go back through them. That's how I'm going to do it today. those guts out of there so it won't get all over the meat even though I'm gonna rinse when I'm done and boom like I said we got a rib cage to cut out but that is almost a boneless skinless fillet not much left on that fish to be arguing about beautiful baby the three besties, Camden, Aubrey, Issa. Oh my God. All right, there's another one. Just repeat the process over and over again, y'all. Those smaller ones, you run through them so fast. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, y'all, listen. If y'all haven't seen, if y'all don't follow me on, like, the other socials, Fish and Cammy went out and fished with us, right? And she nailed some really good fish, y'all. Well, she decided that she's got a new name. She wants to now be called Off the Pink Hook. Fish and Cammy, a.k.a. Off the Pink Hook. <laughs> That's my baby name. And she told me she wanted to fish a tournament with me. Made me tear up a little bit, y'all. I ain't lying.
We're dead. Look at man. God. Y'all like that name? Let me hear it in the comment section. Oh, the pink hook. If y'all like that, let me see it. Slimy out here. Get off me, man. I can't stand the fly, y'all. That joke off just he won't stop. He won't land and get him some and going on. He got to sit around. Can't stand that. Look. Look at me a uh, roll of paper towels. Now I'm losing a lot of people here, man. I, I'm losing so many people. Turkey carving. Boy, here we go. Gonna be some high siding going on. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. And one more thing. Go give me a trash bag. And then buy the washroom. Off the pink hook, y'all. Turn that TV off if you if you're not finna stay in there. Running up my light bill. Sound like my mama now. Goodness gracious. That now I'm air hot. I like to keep a clean work area, man. Man, now that cool out. Take just me off the, off the, give me my, give me my. Just me off the Kimmy, why are you whispering, baby? Just talk. Come on, you can talk on this. Nothing. Yeah, D went to the came to the house, but I, I got worried for my boy. I thought he was gonna hurt himself. Scared me just a little bit. Then he promised he was gonna go do a workout at home. I called him a few days later, I asked how that workout went. It didn't. You better not be uh driving and texting either. You might as well let Nate Nate drive. Little freezer pack. I keep them. I need to ice my fish, and I don't feel like stopping. Uh, now, usually, what I used to do, this bubble blade, I haven't used it in a while, so I can't remember whether it'll get uh, hot or not. What I usually do, I'll do it this way, and then when I go to cut out rib cages, I'll cut rib cages out with a manual knife, um, so I can let my, my knife rest a little bit. Bucket of ice down here, man. Let my fillets get in, cool off real good. V cuts, little V cut, man. You cut your real cage right out of there. Now, probably not a popular opinion because most people don't know, but these rib cages are really good if you fry them hard. Take the rib cage out. That's something I like to eat while I'm frying fish for people. That way I ain't taxing the filet. Another V cut. Another filet. Yep, chop can do that. Mm -hmm. Out of there. 
the leg goes to the to the pot. So daddy, whenever I want to do like art stuff, I can just use this. Um, not all of it, but some of it you can use, yes. Cutting the V. And the place to be. How's everybody doing today, man? Guys, Resurrection Sunday is tomorrow. The Savior was, was resting. Game planning. Death was losing his grip. Oh, my God. Boy, if that don't make you happy, I don't know what will. He couldn't hold him, y'all. He couldn't hold him. He died one Friday night. Somebody said around this time he was resting quite well. Hmm. If that don't shout you, I don't know what we are. I guess that's just the Baptist in me. You know, we like to go to the cross at the end of every service. But man. Man. That's a beautiful thing, that free gift for those that accept. And I pray that you accept it, man. Jesus died on the cross for our sin, y'all. They might have said it early Sunday morning. Early Sunday morning. I'm, I mean, that thing give me chills thinking about it, man. It really do. God is good. No, look at the size. Are y'all looking at the size of that fillet, man? Brother, I don't stop going fishing. I went fishing yesterday with my baby. I went fishing two days ago with my daddy. I went fishing three days ago with my daddy. I went fishing four days ago with my daddy. I've been cutting up on these fish, y'all. Um, and I've had some good days, man. <laughs> Had some days that didn't look that good until we, you know, hunkered down. But when we hunkered down, we found what we was looking for. I left a couple pin bones in this one. Get out of there. I'm messing the filet all up now. Oh, a pin bone. That's all I needed. That can still be fried. Look at the side. Man, that's a... That's a nine inch fillet, almost 10 inch fillet, y'all. I mean, back strap, Jack. Back strap. Mm -hmm. Mark, what's going on? Man, I have been on the water. Not today, though. I went to work today. Michael, what's going on? Guys, listen. If you have yet to subscribe, man. See, that's what happened to some of the fish when they get... They be on that ice too long. I ain't even ready to start that yet. I don't know why I picked him up. Fat deposits and skin pieces. I, I like all that off of my fish, man. Left my cleaning table, y'all. I'm all scrunched up. Disneyland, Florida. What y'all talking about, man? Hey, man, y'all need to call each other. Talking about the Disney man laying me up. Call him, Maurice. Here I am.
There's another one. Uh-oh. Uh oh let's see. I've been watching you for a while, and you got a good show. But you talk about my friend, so I got to subscribe. Who, listen, what friend? Are you talking about the friend that's still closer than a brother? Well, y'all see that white patch in my head? This fishing stuff, boy, I need to slow down or something. Man, what you out there doing? Boo, hmm. what you doing, baby? Making bestie art. Making bestie art. You never made art for it? For your friends? No, I don't make art for my friend. I don't like them that much. You don't like your friends? Mm -mm. I don't like Pastor D. He just cool. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, they got a uh, heart. I wish somebody felt like cleaning fish. Y'all feel like cleaning fish? You can come over and clean me. I got a lot to clean. I got a whole lot to clean, actually. Fat deposit. Little, little belly. Little belly flap. So here's the other way that I do them, y'all. Okay. Now look, before you cut him off the skin, go ahead and trace out your ribs. Then cut it off. Then all you left with is that. Throw all this away. I slid some twelves in there. I had some twelves. Rip cage out. Fillet ready. Joker hadn't spawned at all yet. And no, it's not wasted. Don't worry. There's plenty more out there to spawn. Well, it is wasted, but it ain't it ain't a detriment. Much as I like crappie fishing, I don't think I would keep them if I thought it would hurt to spawn. That a few of them came home with me. D, $100 say you won't come eat this right now. And I will fry it for you. Uh oh, God dog. Y'all, I got, man, listen. I got some she donkeys too. I got some she donkeys. Big Filet. That's what I'm gonna call myself, Big Filet. My name Big Filet. Call me Big Filet. Filet, yo.
Oh, we can't invite everybody to the house, baby. I can't do it like that. <laughs> the only thing about cleaning fish in the garage is I'm going to have to wash my garage floor because I miss every now and again. Another big head. I really need to pour this water off these fish. If I poured, up, poured the water off the fish, took my water hose and rinsed them real quick, I would I would get rid of a lot of slime. It just ain't, ah. Ah. <sighs> I didn't see that. That was terrible job. I'm mad at myself for that. See, this is what people be complaining about right here. That's what people be complaining about right there. You all let me you missed. I missed on that time. I came. They got me on that one. But I came back and got it. It's gonna go right in the fillet bucket. in the bucket over for ladies. Uh, I messed up on that one. Well, if I come on with it, I can get done. Boy, boy, where did I go fishing? It couldn't have been one of them little local lakes. I must have went to East Texas with all that. Goodness gracious. That's you. Man, no knee room. I need to be standing up. That's a bubble blade. You so right about it. So I'm gonna tell you, this is not my favorite knife. This is just the one I keep at my house because I don't clean a lot of fish. Dad is the one that cleans the majority of the fish. He's the one that eats the majority of the fish. And usually when I want to give some to, to like my wife's side of the family, I just go get them from him. I actually kept them this time. Uh, fish is going to my wife's side of the family. I'm keeping them this time and I, I'm cleaning them this time, so. Take the load off there a little bit. <laughs> Tell you, boy, be people talking about you leaving me, boy. Thank God for these fish. I respect these fish. But man, I'm not finna be sucking the bones of a fish. Learn how to catch enough to where I ain't got to do Now for the folks that got to, I get it. Ooh, I need to wipe my table off again. You know, all this slime. So 
up, y'all. <laughs> Boy. Man, look at that, man. Are y'all seeing that? That 15 is crappy right there, y'all. Look. Mm, mm, mm. I'm talking about. Y'all see that, man? That big in my head. Dang. Yeah, I balls on that thing. No. I want to see it. Huh? I want to see it. You want to see the fish? Bang. Think that's pretty good? Thank you. That's a hee haw right there, y'all. Slab slapping. Yeah, I got a double limit extra, man. I got a lot of fish in here to clean. Mark C. Thick fish, y'all. That's a thick fish. Good God. Fish that thick, you gotta take your time a little bit. Somebody, listen, is anybody out there can make me some crappie skin boots? I got some pretty crappie skins. I mean to tell you. Brother, I got two limits, me and dad. Dad got his 25, I got my 25. Justice. That's all I left. Camo Joe, what did what you know? Uh oh, gotta go. Brisket is ready. I understand that, brother. Listen, I understand that. Yeah, these are some fillets, man. I'm trying to tell you something. Hey. Lord, Henry. That boy must have emptied the lake. No, not even close. Huh? It's the color on Easy. Don't put on. Don't put on. Get it's off of that. Get off of that. Tie-dye. Oh, D. Oh, D. I got some eggs for you. Filet of fish. Uh oh, put that off there. Filet of fish.
Oh Lord. Oh my God. All right, family, right, listen. There's only 52 people watching, and I bet it's people that really love my channel. Super Dave, what's going on? Listen, I got a question. Which I tell me what y'all think. So I am on a really good bike um, at a few of the local lakes right now. And so I was just thinking to myself, like, I wonder. And I talked to my wife, and she's in the green, so y'all let me know. But I said, what if when I got off of work at 3 o'clock, I could make it to like Lake Arlington, I can make it to Lake Arlington by 3.30. Yeah, I can make it to Lake Arlington by about 3.30, 3.45. What if I did like 3.45 to 7.45 evening trips? Or 4.30 to 7.30? That was really my thought process, that way I have time. What if I did like 4.30 to 7.30 working man trips, $300, one or two people, Take your fish home. I'm not cleaning no fish. Now, anytime I do a regular guy trip, it's now $400, half day, four to six hours. But what if we did three? Cammy, you skinning up those shoes. Get up, go put you some play shoes on, baby. Thank you. What if we did working? Oh my gosh, girl. I asked you to go take them off earlier. You just holding them out, boo. Go ahead. Who else got kids? But yeah, what y'all think about that, man? If I did evening trips. And see, that kind of helps my availability because right now, I can only guide on, on Tuesday and Wednesday. But if I did a working man trip, it would be after I got off of work. Three hours, $300. You keep, you keep your catch. Um, we catch some fish. We really catch some fish. Um, fish are everywhere. They're doing everything they need to be doing. I'm thinking about doing that, man. Just getting on a good, healthy bite and uh, put some people on some fish if they wanted to do it in the DFW. Get them coins. Cook it, hook as far as your life scope beam. Does it change the width of the beam? Not that I've found, no. It doesn't matter what side of the trolling motor. The beam is still, I think, 15 degrees. Um, but no, I've not noticed anything like that. Would anybody be interested in a guy trip? Come out here and catch some of these old spawners. I tell y'all, man, my baby got out there and she really put in work yesterday. Hey, let's go all the way. y'all I gotta, I gotta get done with it. cleaning fish is not my funniest thing to do yeah be where you end up bro local ponds or the lake uh oh that looks grow up Definitely, if I was in Fort Worth, Lake Como, I'd be there for real. But well, listen, Lake Como ain't far. Yeah, if I was in your town, I get it. I get it. <clears throat> Just wondering if it was a good idea in general. But guys, thank y'all. I know y'all would support your boy's business if y'all were here. Damn, threw the filet in the wrong side. Rush.
Let's get some of this. Get some of this slime off of here. Guys, I try to keep a clean hand and a dirty hand. The same hand that grabs the fish does all the dirty work. My right hand, my dominant hand, holds holds the uh holds the knife. I got a long way to go and I don't feel like it. God damn. Oh Lord. Boy, that boy done went down to the lake and just cut the food. I didn't realize I had this many good fish. I didn't realize I was catching this many pregnant fish either. I thought I was catching a bunch of fish that wasn't pregnant. Sidewalk, are you? Okay. Uh, three art down. Whoops, all I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's all you need to do. Chicken, they can see you. Off the pink hook, y'all. going on? I see some hellos. a whiff of that filet make sure you smell it right and the reason I'm doing that is because what happens is sometimes on the ride home if the fish expires fast the guts will start stinking doesn't mean the fish is bad but the guts have got a little warm oh no see what I did there y'all that's the absolute worst right there. Cut through the bang on here. Because I got. 
I ain't got Sammy. You alright? Oh, girl. Cut through the dang on fish. Now I gotta fix him. I don't think that I can't fix him. It's the fact that I have to fix him and I cut through the goods and the and the crap bag and all that, and boy, you want to talk about funky. Mmm. Cutting through the stomach is the worst thing you can do, buddy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't think I got the stomach to clean fish no more, y'all. Goodness gracious. I used to not even smell good. Now. See? No damage to the fillet. We still good. Get this funk out of here. Good God. I mean, globs of fat in these jokes, too. Big, healthy fish, man. Big, healthy fish. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Boy, that's some funk. Another big joke, man. My baby went to a church Easter egg hunt. That's why she got paint on her face, y'all. Filled up in my dang on bucket with goods. And I got plenty fixed. Man, I'm gonna get off here, y'all. So I can really get after this fish. Let's see if I can show you. I got listen. I got plenty to go. Gut bucket full. Filet bucket getting there. Fishing cami. AKA off the pink hook. Yeah, I caught a couple of males. I'm talking about some good males, too. Got some more fish down in here. Some more right here. We're going to get these groceries taken care of, y'all. Ice kept really good. Let's see if I took this water off of here. Happy Easter to you and yours, man. No, I don't have to sharpen the blades, man. I just go buy a different set if I need to. Um, but I don't use this 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 deal that often. Some good fish in here. Yeah, I'm gonna get off of here. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this ice off of these fish. So I won't be picking up as much slime. But my ice kept really, really well. Anyway. Love y'all, man. Pray y'all have a happy Easter. A blessed Easter. Know that Jesus, once again, is the reason for this season. Um, and man, look at, listen. Time is at hand, boy. Everybody don't, everybody, listen. People checking out every day. It'd be good to get in the right relationship with Jesus Christ, man. Heard from Fish and King. Okay, I get it. But tomorrow's Easter. <clears throat> that day is set aside is the day we celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. I know we play with Easter bunnies and eggs and all that kind of stuff, but for me and mine, I've just been happy all day, man, being thankful. Thankful that God paid it all for me. 
Look, he paid my debt off. Y'all want to be debt free? <laughs> I thank Jesus. I'm debt free, man. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the live, man. Maybe picked up something. Listen, long form videos are out there. Shorts are out there. Um, got more videos coming, so y'all stay tuned. Go get your ACC crappie sticks. Go get your uh, brush pile jigs. Go get your Euro tackle equipment. You know, jig heads and such that I use. Z vibers, B vibes, all that. It's your boy Fisher Ken, Hook City TV. Macho.